Hello Internet, uh, Seth Skorkowski, and today I want to talk about uh, my collection of Hellraiser boxes. Uh, uh, boxes uh, from or inspired by the movie Hellraiser, also known as Les Marchands boxes. Um, I first saw those movies when I was 11, maybe 12. I became a huge fan. Probably too young to be watching those movies, but, you know, what can you say to a middle schooler? And I always wanted one of the, the boxes from the, the movies. And I remember I was at a comic and game shop, and I saw one for sale. And it was plastic. You glued the six flat panels together so it was hollow and didn't weigh much and looked kind of cheesy. And I thought, no, I want one that is uh, real. I want one that's wood and metal and feels real. And the first one that I picked up years later uh, was this one. And this is in the Lament configuration, which is the uh, design from the movie. And it is done by the Puzzle Box Maker. So they're uh, black and stainless. So these are stainless uh, panels done over mahogany. You can kind of see the wood grain in there. And it is six unique panels, which I like. Sometimes you'll find places that will make a lament configuration, but it's actually just three panels that are repeated. Uh, but you can see that this panel is actually different than this one, uh, because the symbols are all different. And that's how they all are. This one took me forever to find the subtle differences between this and this, but they're actually different. And then the symbols around here and along the edges are different there. Uh, but the Puzzle Box Maker is pretty cool in the fact that when they send it to you, it comes wrapped in paper with a little string, you know, the classic card. I think all of them come with that says, take it, it's yours, it always was. Uh, but they also send it with a uh, picture of Captain Elliot Spencer uh, from Hellraiser 2, I believe is when he first showed up, and it shows up again in Hellraiser 3. So that's kind of neat. Um, all of them come with a little plastic stand. Well, not all of them, but the, the ones from Puzzle Box Makers do. It's kind of a plastic stand. It's kind of like you would put... Uh, a Rubik's Cube on, I think is the first time I saw those. But, great box, very solid. It's a static box, meaning it doesn't move. It's literally just a cube of wood with the metal put on, lacquered down. I've had this for years. The lacquer has never chipped or worn or anything like that. So that definitely has my stamp of approval. After that, uh, I started branching out, and I found a company called The Pyramid Gallery. Which, if you remember Hellraiser 3, Pyramid Gallery is a reference to a gallery that they go to in Hellraiser 3. And uh, I picked up two the first time. The first one that I got was uh, this one. It's called The Hollow Heart. And uh, this is supposed to be a uh, uh, map, I guess, of New York. Which has uh, three panels that are identical. This one, this one, this one. So, uh, but this one has also got a music box feature. And I'll show you. And if you set it on one of the little wooden discs that the uh, Pyramid Gallery sends you. So all of theirs come with the, the plastic stand as well. And then they come with these little, uh, little wooden discs. They say, you know, pyramidgallery.com. And um, they actually also work very well as a small stand if you don't like it to sit up on a corner. So, I like that one. I mostly like the, the music box feature of it. Um, another one that they do is what they call the Lost Configuration, or the Innocence Puzzle. And I, you know, I had to get it because it has a heart, and that you know, just kind of spoke to me as 
kind of neat. Uh, it has four panels. So we've got the, uh, what I consider the top one since it's above the heart. And that, I always like that section because it looks like it's supposed to open and something comes out. Of course, they have wonderful little details, little things hidden around the edges. You've got like little animals in this one. But this panel is repeated on the opposite side. And this panel is also repeated on the opposite side. So you only have four panels. All of uh, Pyramid Gallery's boxes are actual solid metal plates that are glued down onto the wood. So there is no wood in the black areas. That's actually just a, a lacquer or, or paint. So, you know, unlike this one where you can see the wood grain, this is really just you know, six solid squares of metal over wood. The result is it is extremely heavy. They have a very good weight. Uh, they have very sharp corners because that's where the plates all glued. So I wish you could get to the wood underneath. Some of their patterns like this I think would be probably way too complicated to have done as floating on top of the the wood. Uh, so I don't I don't blame them for making that decision. But you know just for anyone that's looking into getting one uh, from the pyramid gallery these are actual just solid metal plates and that's how all of theirs are. And you know, at this point, I told my wife I was going to stop, Aha. Um, and it didn't really happen. Um, I, I keep telling her that every time I, re I release a new book, I have to get a new box. So she's currently buying that for now. Uh, this one is my last one from them, and is the Scribe configuration, um, also known as the Well of Inspiration. All of them have neat little secondary names that go with their fake histories. And you can see it, there's actually music here. I have no idea what that music sounds like. I can't read music. Um, so I don't know if it's a real song. Got some hieroglyphics on this one. It's got writing here and a little bit more. So this, this panel has an omega, has kind of quill tips on it, writing tips. This is the music face. Uh, once again, you've got music etched up here. I have no idea what it is, what it sounds like. And then you have this one that has the Eye of Horus on it. So this is a three panel. So the Eye of Horus is on the opposite side. The music also on the opposite side. And same with the Omega. So... Uh, that does disappoint me. I wish that they did have six faces. Um, that's one of the only complaints I could make about any of the, the Pyramid Galleries things, is I would like to have um, more faces with them. But, once again, they're very solidly made. I've had this one for a few years. It has never, ever once, any of them have uh, you know, ever started peeling loose or anything like that. They've always stayed very shiny. I guess they lacquered over the brass to keep it high gloss, which is very, very cool. The scribe configuration also came with this history that, that was really fun. And it kind of gives over the, the details that they wrote for this particular Le Marchand box. So that's that's fun. That's very cool. I like that. Uh, the, the nerd in me loves fake lore and, and history to go with my, my, my nerdly items around the house. So, very cool. And once again, like all of the Pyramid Gallery stuff, it comes with this little wooden uh, chit that you can use as a stamp. Uh, then my final one that I have is um, kind of my crown jewel. And this is from HellraiserBox.net, and it is in the Lament 
configuration, the classic uh, limit configuration. This one is more movie accurate in the sense that it is a brown with brass. And then on these two faces, it is black. And I'm sure you can see that there are seams that run through it, mostly obvious on this side. And this is what they call um, their pyramid lament configuration. And what makes it so special is that it does move. So we do have the six faces that are all unique, even though it looks like three pair, they're actually all different. Uh, but this one, the center part, you can push it. And if you do that, it releases a catch and it comes up into the pyramid shape, which you might remember from the movie as being the first uh, time it moves. So, push that, allows this to kind of come sliding up. Very, very cool. And over here, kind of hidden in the back, uh, it says it's their movable pyramid made by Norfolk. Uh, Norfolk is also HellraiserBox.net. Uh, 43, I assume that means this is their 43, or 43rd pyramid box. So that's a nice little plate that's hidden in there. Uh, but I could not say no to this one because it was so unique in uh, its shape. And it moves, and that was just absolutely irresistible to me. So and then to load it up, you have to simply push that back. You have to hold it because it's actually got a spring, very light spring, and then uh, just push it back down. And at that point, this activates and you can't move it anymore. So the uh, Norfolk also sends with it a wooden stand, which is great because I just really, really hate the plastic ones that all the others have. This one also has the plate. It uh, says, you know, hellraiserbox.net, made by Norfolk, number 43 for the 43rd box. However, that hole is tiny. And you compare it to the, the others, I mean, you can see the difference there, how much smaller that opening is. And this opening is what gives it more foundation to, to hold it and cradle it. So this one is just kind of holding it by the tip, while the others are kind of getting a good grip on it. And you think, well, that means it shows off more of the box. Well, in theory, however, this box, because of its mechanisms and all the little moving parts, is horribly off weight. Uh, you know, there's, it, it's not equally balanced. So since it is sitting in here by just a, my little tip, it's actually very quick to roll out. And I don't want this one to get damaged. Um, so you can either set it on the top, or normally what I do is I just take one of the little pyramid gallery chits and set it on that. Uh, just because the, the balance uh, of it means that it's just so easy to tip uh, if, you, if you breathe on it wrong. So... That is my only uh, criticism I can give to the HellraiserBox.nets is, well, they do send a wooden stand, which I had always wanted one for these. They just didn't open that up enough, and it just barely hangs in there. And since it has this little plaque, yeah, I don't feel right uh, sticking it on one of these. Since these are perfectly evenly balanced, uh, it, could, it could sit in here much easier. But, you know, it's the the wrong stand it's not a matching set and other weird reasons that i come up with why i can't do it but that is it if you are uh looking into getting any of the the Le Marchand boxes or the hellraiser boxes uh you can find a lot out there they're on etsy and, and different websites uh so quality can vary uh sometimes the um they'll remove the they'll cut this out with acid or lasers, or they stamp it. There's you know, a lot of different methods. Uh, so you want to pay attention to the thickness of the plates, and because uh, you want a good thick, thicker plate. Otherwise, it might start curling up. 
and a lot of good lacquer. So I can't speak for any of the other manufacturers, but I can say that uh, Puzzle Box Maker, um, who made this one, has done an excellent job. And then Pyramid Gallery, their selection of them. Now, I, uh, I would not pick up a lament configuration from Pyramid Gallery because since they're still solid plates, I want to get to the wood. But for all of their others that are unique to them, highly recommend it. They're very cool, um, especially uh, with when like the scribe and they send you these things. But all of them, when you go to their website, have kind of uh, uh, fake histories for them. It's a wonderful kind of mythology that they're working with. Then, of course, the HellraiserBox.net, uh, who makes the very movie accurate ones um, as, the, as the most expensive. They are out of England, uh, but uh, their quality is absolutely outstanding. So eventually um, I, will, I will pick up what's called the star pattern, which is the one that kind of comes up and then rotates and goes back down. It forms a star. Very cool. Um, I'll have to uh, use the, the, the next book release excuse on my wife because otherwise she is not going to be happy if I keep buying these, but she likes them. So I, I, uh, I, don't, I get forgiven pretty quickly. But that is all that I have. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions on them if you are interested in collecting Le Marchand boxes. And have a good day.